Apple has launched the iPhone 12 lineup, and it's all got 5G. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, here to share with you the big news about the iPhone 12. Now, a lot of other sites and channels and stuff are going to be covering the things like the nifty blue case and the faster CPU and the uh, really great camera improvements and all that other stuff. But, well, here at the Mobile Internet Resource Center, we're going to focus on the connectivity changes. And the big one, well, the headline feature of the entire new iPhone lineup is 5G. And there's some important things to know, particularly if you might be shopping outside of the United States. So let's first talk about what sort of 5G is Apple including in this. Now, a lot of phones have come out uh, that have 5G with just support for mid-band and low-band 5G, what's called sub-6 5G. And flagship phones have been coming out with support for millimeter wave 5G, the super fast stuff that is only in core urban areas. Um, particularly Verizon has been focusing on that. And there have been a lot of speculation that you know, people knew there was going to be an iPhone 12 and an iPhone 12 Pro, and maybe Apple will only include millimeter wave on the higher-end devices. So good news, actually, to a surprise of many, Apple is including millimeter wave and sub-6, the basically every type of 5G band you would ever connect to, on all of the iPhone models, all four of them, everything from the iPhone 12, the iPhone 12 mini, the iPhone 12 Pro, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So the entire range has all types of 5G, which is pretty incredible considering the iPhone 12 mini is the smallest 5G phone in the world, and they even managed to fit in all the extra electronics for millimeter wave. But there is a catch with this millimeter wave support. It is only going to be included on iPhone 12s sold in the United States. The international models, because in most of the rest of the world, millimeter wave is not quite as important to the carrier rollout plans yet. Um, Apple is saving money, probably has less, less supply chain concerns, and is leaving out all the millimeter wave functionality on all the international models. So particularly if you're Canadian, the Canadian model does not have millimeter wave. So if you want something that will have better resale value or be able to take advantage of some crazy speeds when you travel into the U.S., buy the U.S. model. Um, same with the international versions that will be sold in most other countries, well, all other countries. None of them will have the millimeter wave support. That is exclusively to the United States right now. So definitely be aware of gray market imports, things like that. Um, if you are shopping for phones later, you'll be able to tell the millimeter wave versions will actually have below the power button on the side. This is not an iPhone 12 yet, by the way. But there will be a slight discoloration in the case, kind of a little pill-shaped cutout that's part of one of the millimeter wave antennas, and you'll be visible. So if you're buying used phones or things that might have been imported, that is a very important thing to keep in mind. Now, other than that, other than like years in the past, all the iPhone 12s in the United States should have identical cellular capabilities. There's not going to be a special Verizon version, an AT&T version, and T-Mobile version. Um, so if you get one and it is unlocked, it will work on all the carriers. If you buy straight from Apple, it will be unlocked from the, from the get-go. Um, and there's no worry about picking the carrier and the phone to match. So there's only one USA model. And another thing that is different this year is back in the 11, iPhone 11 launch, the 11, iPhone 11 did not have 4x4 MIMO for cellular, and the 11 Pro did have 4x4 MIMO. So the Pro series had a big advantage as far as cellular connectivity on the 11 era. On the 12, doesn't matter whether you go um, iPhone 12 or t iPhone 12 Pro, on the cellular side of things, they are identical. They will still have the same capabilities, the same 4x4 MIMO, the same 5G capabilities, everything like that. So the differences between the, the regular 12 and the Pro are now about the camera and more memory and the stylish stainless steel case and everything else there. So that's the differences there. Um, now, so what are the 5G capabilities? Well, the iPhone 12 is basically supporting just every single 5G band that exists. And Apple is bragging that they have achieved more band compatibility than any phone that exists yet. It has every 4G band that it is basically in use in the world, every 5G band that is basically in use in the world. It's a, little, a phone that will roam to just about anywhere, um, which is great. You know, wonderful compatibility there, including 
you know, all the bands that all the carriers are using for their 5G rollouts in the U.S. There is a bit of a concern. Um, let's talk about the three different flavors of 5G. So, you know, 5G's got the, the low band, the long range, you know, basically going to be layered on top of 4G. Doesn't perform much better than 4G, but goes everywhere uh, spectrum. Um, AT&T and T-Mobile have rolled that out already. Verizon, as part of the iPhone launch, turned on their 5G nationwide network. The iPhone, of course, supports all of that. Um, supports, we've talked about the millimeter wave spectrum, so the super fast stuff that you know, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile are all deploying in core urban areas, um, cities, stadiums, airports, and stuff like that. The super crazy fast multi-gigabit speed, up to four gigabits per second is what the, the iPhone 12 should be capable of. Both supports that. And then the mid-band spectrum. This is the kind of the, the juicy spectrum that combines the best of both worlds. It gives you, you know, maybe not gigabit speed, but 500 megabits per second speed potentially, but much better range than that's, that super short range millimeter wave. In the United States right now, only T-Mobile has a lot of millimeter, a lot of mid-band spectrum deployed. They've got, um, I think, 50 million people covered with it, and they're saying 100 million people by the end of this year because they have a lot of mid-band spectrum they got by acquiring Sprint. And, of course, the iPhone uh, 12 supports T-Mobile's mid-band spectrum. AT&T and Verizon are really lacking on this mid-band spectrum, and they will be bidding in the C-band auction later this year to buy some spectrum that will be suitable for mid-band deployments, and we'll have that to roll out probably this time next year. And people are wondering, will the iPhone 12 Will current 5G devices be compatible with what rolls out from the mid-band support from AT&T and Verizon next year? Or are you going to be suddenly finding yourself cut out of their best, fastest, most useful spectrum? And still uncertain because the FCC hasn't even defined that exact spectrum band yet until the auction concludes. But a lot of industry insiders are now speculating that the iPhone 12 is going to be the first future-proof 5G phone that is already set up to be compatible with that mid-band spectrum. No promises, no guarantees until that spectrum actually happens and it launches, but this is probably one of the first iPhone, first uh, uh, 5G devices that is going to have, you know, be relatively future-proof and be ready to not be missing out for years into the future. Now, a few other things that uh, Apple debuted on the connectivity side with the new iPhone 12, they've got what they're calling smart data mode, which they claim will switch between 5G and 4G automatically on the fly, completely transparently behind the scenes. So kicking into basically faster speeds only when needed, but dialing the connection down to a slower speed um, other times to save battery life. Um, I have no idea how that will actually work in practice, so we're looking forward to seeing uh, tests and analysis of that in the works. And, um, and the rest of the connectivity front is basically the same as the um, iPhone 11 from last year. So you've still got the Wi-Fi 6, 802.11ax Wi-Fi. No, no devices have a Wi-Fi 6e, the extended version, the next version of Wi-Fi yet. So that'll probably be something that rolls out in next year's models. Um, Still has the same local ultra wideband chip for doing, uh, you know, well, Apple hasn't even really enabled that yet, but it came out on the iPhone 11, but potentially will allow local networking to be more interesting and faster and have local precision. And um, same Bluetooth, same everything else. So the big change on the connectivity side is all about that 5G, and it looks really interesting. Now, is it something that if you've got a current iPhone, you want to jump in and upgrade just from the connectivity front? Well, as I said, the carriers don't really have the networks. The, the, the 5G networks are just now getting going, and they're starting from the point of being really good 4G. So unless you happen to be going to the places where millimeter wave matters, or, well, if you're on T-Mobile and you've got that mid-band rolling out where you're at, um, there's not going to be huge connectivity advantages jumping to 5G just yet, so feel free to wait a year for an upgrade if you want to, but also if you're tempted by other reasons, there's no, by all the other interesting new features and technology, there's no reason to hold back from the new iPhone. This seems to be a device that's going to have a, a long, uh, long lifetime of support and compatibility on carrier networks, and it's definitely a, in some interesting technology. We'll be waiting to get our hands on 
uh, uh, iPhone 12 very soon. They uh, go on pre-order sale tomorrow, and the uh, uh, iPhone 12 and 12 Pro will be shipping a week from now, and then um, three weeks from now in November, the, the 12 Mini, the super tiny one, and the 12 Pro Max, the big one with the crazy impressive camera, they will be shipping. So that's the latest from Apple. Um, go check all various other channels to talk about all the other features on the iPhone 12, but that's it from the connectivity mobile internet side of things. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.